Hey everybody, here I am today with another video on replacing the hood hinges on a 2005 to 2009 Ford Mustang. Uh, a lot of times they get bent when you have a front end fender bender and I bought this car used so I kind of found that out. There's no real adjustments up and down uh, except at the front, but if your hood gets smashed uh, it tends to push the hinges upwards and that's what I found on mine so I'm gonna show how to replace them because here's an old hood I have this side doesn't look that bad but the most of the damage was on this side so the back of the hood would stick up like this and there's no way to get it adjusted up or down so I got some new hinges and if you look at these older hinges that were involved in an accident you can see that the front end there is pushed up and I kind of banged it down to try and get it lined up and it just wasn't working didn't want to take it off and the other thing is it's kind of difficult to get at the front bolt right there to get it out. It looks easy, but you have to have uh, some kind of special wrench or something or super stubby, maybe a socket, but um, I don't really want to remove the fender, so I am going to try to do it without doing that. Once I take the hood off, the rear one here, you'll be able to get to that one. So first thing to do is take the hood off. To take the hood off, all you have to do is remove these two bolts at the upper hit on the upper hinge on both sides. Those two bolts are uh, 10 millimeter, and then use. Kind of use the prop rod to hold it up, and then I'm gonna put some uh, cloth or cushioning underneath the corners of the hood, even though this hood I'm not gonna use. All right, I got an old t shirt wedged up in there under the corner, and an old towel on the other corner, and now I'm gonna take out the bolts. Alright, here we are with the hood taken off and you can see that you can most likely get to this rear bolt with a socket and a swivel, but this one in here is, is recessed in there, so if you have a ratcheting box and wrench, you might be able to get that one out. First thing I'm going to do is mark where the current one is. I don't think it's in the right place, but get a Sharpie marker. That gives us a starting place. All right, I guess this is uh, you get these off without removing the fender um, you can get a 10 millimeter uh, quarter inch drive socket and you can get to the rear one and I guess I'll take this one out and hope I don't lose it down the fender here Now this 
this one here is the hard one so you you can get a, a 10 millimeter wrench and you can get it on there and fiddle with it until you know you get it off which i'm trying to do show you here That's pretty darn hard. So you can you can get it. once you get it loose. It's a lot easier. Or you can get something like this: a swivel head ratcheting uh, wrench. So let me. lock that so if you get it on just right you should <laughs> should be able to do it a little bit quicker it's still annoying though either way you do it and you still need to be careful to not lose the bolt down into the fender well. It really looks like it's loose. Oh. Okay, finally, finally out. Uh, said it's a pain in the butt for that front one. And it looks like this one's definitely tweaked inside. And like I said, look at look at how it bends. I tried to bang this down. It's supposed to be flat, so definitely makes the hood stick up. And that's why I'm replacing them. Here's the other side, same deal. You can get to that one, and then this one over here is recessed under the fender, and we're gonna try and do the same thing. All right, that's not the best angle, but I think it'll show mostly what I'm trying to do here. Take this one completely out, the real one. Keep your finger on it. Oh. Okay, got that one out. One more. And we used this ratcheting wrench This one actually is loose enough to get with my fingers, not like the other side, which was really tight. 
so here we go. Okay, make sure it doesn't fall. It's definitely loose. hinge okay here's the left side and if I flatten them out this uh, left one is way up there and it's hitting the middle so it already is kind of goofy sitting way up high and like I said that is that part there is supposed to be flat like this and then on this side if I lay them flat you can see again that this original hinge is sitting way up and that inside corner is bent up and this side is flat so that's probably why the hood is sticking up on the ends at least that's what i hope so let's get the new hinges put in and here's our new hinge so we're gonna do the reverse of the install and Try and put the front bolt in and then the rear and try not to drop it in the fender well. Try and get this one started with my fingers carefully. This was the hard one though, because it didn't want to come out either. get the ratchet on it so far I haven't been able to okay gosh definitely have to have a certain angle on it that I made earlier just to have a starting point like I said
the cross thread it here. Try and line it up with the fender because I'm assuming that's what it lines up with. I'm not really sure. Okay, he's tightened down. Tighten down the front side. Hopefully I don't have to take these off to adjust them. side start it by hand if possible and not drop it down there hmm it's a little seems like a little less room on this side for some reason in so we can put the rear one in we gotta, gotta start it by hand too because uh, we might cross thread it otherwise because it's not quite a straight shot into into here and if you get the socket on there, you know, square, it's, you're going to drive it in sideways. So it's got to try to start it with your fingers. Make sure it's going in straight. Hope I got it.
Okay. That covers that part of the video, which is what I really wanted to show is that you can replace the hood hinges without taking the fenders off. It's a pain in the butt, but it can be done. Okay, here's the finished product. Here's the new hinges and uh, got it all connected and as you can see it sits flat like it didn't before and that's what was causing the back of the hood to be sticking up. And on this side same thing sitting flat and new new hinges in place so if you have the same if it's been in a little fender bender and you can't get the back of the hood down you may need to get new hinges because the old ones are bent also obviously this hood isn't perfect either it's a little bit bent down at the end but you can see that the back of the hood is definitely sitting down lower than it was and uh, same on both sides so if uh, this helped you at all like and subscribe